as I was saying, I went to the Evergreen International Conference in Salt Lake City. Um, while I was there, Aideen Bird and other licensed therapists um, talked to me about the clinical evidence for diminishing same-sex attraction and overcoming it. They told me that it would never be possible to completely eliminate my feelings, but that I could diminish them, control them, and eventually, hopefully, get married. I, General Authority spoke to us at that conference afterwards. Um, they, we had firesides and prayers and sing hymns, and we all kind of left thinking we can overcome this. I remember I then went home. I eventually um, left for college, not at BYU like I had intended originally, but to BYU-Idaho, um, and my parents were fine with that because they didn't want me to go to school anywhere where uh, I would be tempted to live a, a gay lifestyle. Um, and so I went there. I um, then went on, I went on my mission to Dallas, Texas. I ended up telling my mission president that I was gay because I was thinking about guys and I felt horribly guilty and I thought, I'm not overcoming this, I'm not getting over this, I must be doing something wrong. And so I obsessed about this to the point where I thought, I'm not worthy to be out here, I should go home for my mission. Um, I met with a, a counselor there, an LDS family therapist, family services therapist, and he told me that, you know, this is an uncommon struggle. In fact, the Savior himself may have struggled with this. I had never heard that Jesus might be gay, um, and I didn't know what to think. It kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and I just realized that I wasn't going to get any help. I decided to stay on my mission. And I ended up training, and I ended up being a good missionary. Um, afterwards, I tr I came home from my mission, and I went to BYU. I um, I dated some, not a lot, but I never serious. But I would go out on dates. I ended up getting a job teaching Spanish at the MTC, and I really enjoyed that. Um, and then about my senior year, I met a girl who I decided that I would date and eventually marry. Um, we had kind of a strange relationship. I broke up after about a month telling her that I wanted to date someone else uh, who lived in Mexico who I'd met when I was down there on a study abroad. And then we got back together and I talked to her parents about marrying her, but then I didn't tell her anything. And then a couple months later, I finally told her, you know, um, I'm attracted to men. I don't know what to do about this. I love you, I care about you, but I don't know what this means for us. And she said, well, I think we can make it work. I think that we can stick it out as long as you are attracted to me. And I said, yeah, I am. I mean, I enjoy being with you. I enjoy holding you. I enjoy kissing you. I, I must be okay, you know? So then I moved away. I graduated college and I moved home to California. And when I was there, um, I, you know, I still had thoughts sometimes about guys and I felt really guilty and I prayed and I remember telling her, writing her, I'm, you know, I'm having a really hard time right now with this. So she came out to visit me. She was super worried. And while she was out, I felt reassured and I proposed to her, um, kind of on the spot. And I, um, she was so happy. And I, I was happy too. I never in a million years thought I'd marry a woman, and I never thought that it would actually work. Um, and then as she moved to California too with me, not with me with me, because we were Mormon and very proper in that way, um, but I felt okay about it. I felt okay about getting married, and I went to the temple, and it was a beautiful day. I had a few doubts in my mind, but I thought, you know, I'm marrying the woman of my dreams. I'm marrying my best friend. Um, and at first it was okay. You know, I, I know okay shouldn't be the words you use to describe like your honeymoon or anything like that. But, you know, given how concerned I had been about being intimate with a woman, I, it went a lot better than I thought. And I, um, I cared about her. I enjoyed being with her. Um, we were very close very close friends, um, but as time went on, I realized I couldn't really control the fact that I felt the desire to be sexually intimate with another man. I could control if I was going to do it, and I didn't. I was faithful to my wife, um, but eventually, after enough years, as I noticed our relationship started to decline, 
um, we talked about it, I realized 